What's up you guys? How you guys doing today? I hope you all are doing really great. As a young kid, I had plenty of fears. Most of my biggest ones came from watching horror movies on TV. Back then I didn't have cable growing up and I wasn't familiar with the channels the antenna had provided just yet. There was one particular channel that showed plenty of good action and funny movies that I grew up to love dearly. As I got familiar going to that same movie channel over and over again, I grew to like the movies that aired on the channel. With learning the channel name and channel number these movies were airing, I was getting familiar with the other channels as well. One day, when I was finishing watching my daily cartoons, when I got back from school, I changed the channel to the main channel where all the movies were coming out on. I was in for the biggest scare of my life and I didn't know about it just yet. I remember that it was around 6 in the evening that this new movie I've never seen before started playing. The first thing I saw of this movie was a little boy around my age at the time making breakfast for his beloved mother and seeing a commercial about this creepy looking doll on TV. Wow. The little boy really wanted to get this doll for his upcoming birthday so he begged his mother to get it for him. As the movie progresses, the mother of the boy was able to get the doll her son wanted for his birthday. Bring you and your kid a lot of joy. Thank you. Furthermore, once the boy opened the rap box and started speaking to this good guy doll, the doll moved his blue eyes to speak to the boy and said, Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi ho <laughs> <laughs> Wow, he's something, isn't he? Oh, Mom, thanks. I should have known that it was going to be a scary movie. But what did I know? <laughs> I was like 7 at the time. The rest was history after that scene. As a kid, Chucky scared the crap out of me. I had a bunch of nightmares that he chased me and never left me alone. <laughs> oh, uh. With that, I want to get to a what if scenario about the Child's Play series. What if Chucky actually won and got to take over Andy's body? What would he would have done next and would there be anyone to stop him? First, let's start off with his backstory, before he became the killer doll, he was a serial killer human, and his name was Charles Lee Ray, his nickname was the Lakeshore Strangler, also Chucky. The, the curse of Chucky Moy was the only, when I was a kid I never got to see the actual beginning of the first child's play movie, until it was a perfect plan for Charles to become a killer doll, he was actually invisible for some time. When he committed his first murder as a doll, no one believed Andy when he tried to get, explain to his mother or even to the cops that Chucky did it. It was perfect for him because as long as no one believed the kid, he was untouchable. Chucky didn't want to stay as a doll forever so he tracked down his teacher that taught him voodoo so he can tell him how he can get out of the doll's body. Tom, his teacher, told him that the longer he stayed on that body, the more human he became. His teacher did not want to help him because he used everything that he taught him for evil, but Chucky already had a backup voodoo doll made for him that would make his teacher talk. Shouldn't tell your customers where you hide things like this, John. Already dying on his last breath, his teacher told him that all he needs to do is transfer his soul to the first person he revealed himself to. The first person he revealed himself to was Andy, a six-year-old boy. I'm gonna be six years old again. So this well, brings me John, back to the question on what will happen if Chucky successfully transfers his body into a six-year-old boy. If Chucky was able to transfer his soul into Andy's, he could have easily started a new life without no one ever noticing that he was Charles Lee Ray, the Lakeshore Strangler. If you've seen this movie called The Good Son, starring Macaulay Culkin, this would have been Andy Barkley, but in Charles Lee Ray's soul and his body. Andy would have been stuck as a doll and there would be no way for him to come back as a human. Chucky might have gotten rid of the doll and he would have killed Andy and that would have been a very terrible tragedy. But the good thing is, he failed. A lot of times. Dying is such a bitch. That 
is sick. Seed of Chucky was the only movie that Chucky had the opportunity of becoming human with no interruptions from anyone whatsoever. But this was also the turning point that made him change his mind forever. He made the choice of staying as a doll forever because he is better off being a killer doll that the world has feared for years. With the knowledge he learned about transferring his soul to multiple dolls on Cult of Chucky, he found a way to possess more humans and more good guys and his cult kept growing and growing. <laughs> Welcome to the cult, pal. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys if you made it this far on the video. I really appreciate you. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And that's it guys. As always, live to the fullest.